today's spookerific review, I thought we would do something special. I thought we would do something that we looked at before, and now we're going to look at again. We're going to look at, once again, the Kid Robot Simpsons Treehouse of Horror set. Uh, you can collect all 12 in this series, and yes, I did do a review of this. At least I'm certain I did a review of this many, many spooky videos, spooky years ago. And I thought for this year, let's do something special. We're going to look at an entire case. So sit down, sit down, relax, get yourself a drink, get yourself a beverage. We're going to take the course of this video and we're going to open up every single one of these. Now, how many are inside a box, you may ask? Well, there's four up and there's five across. That gives us a total of 20. And technically, there's only 12 that we need in the set. But as you can probably see, some of the ones are a little harder than others. Like example, uh, Dracula Burns, there's one out of 40. So out of 40, there's a chance of getting one of them. So it might be a little harder to come by. But for example, we've got the Freddy Krueger, Groundskeeper Willie, and we've got Montgomery Burns as Dracula. We've got Ralph dressed up as a clown, Cat Marge, Kang and Kodos respectively, uh, Witch Lisa, a mystery character, which you can tell is probably the gremlin, uh, Krusty, zombie Krusty, I might add, Donut Homer, Fly Bart, and, Kang's, Kodos, uh, I think it's Kang's uh, baby, uh, uh, Maggie. So Maggie as an alien. So not a bad lineup. And again, we're going to have a look at an entire set of these. Let's start, start with the first case. Blast from the Past. I love this box artwork where you got the black and you got the green outlining of all the Simpsons characters that make up the set. There's one side of the cast of characters involved, the other side inside. And, and again, I hope we can get all of these. So, we're going to need ourselves a knife. I'm going to grab myself a knife. I'm going to grab Old Red here, who hasn't apparently made many appearances lately. I think she's been off sleeping. You ever do that where you just sleep away a day? Apparently Red's done that for like the last week or so. Has much made much in the way of appearances. We're going to get this first bag opened up. And let's see what we got inside. And the first one we get, I'm just going to make sure I don't miss any, any of the accessories. I certainly don't want to do that, because I would have thrown away the pacifier, and Maggie needs that. So here we have Maggie, and that was the episode in which Lisa, or not Lisa, Marge and Homer appear on the Jerry Springer show, if I'm not mistaken, and Kang reveals himself to be the true father of little Maggie here. Maggie sprouts these little legs and moves across the floor. A great representation of Maggie here uh, from the cartoon. Like, again, it looks really neat. The singular tooth there, and of course, holding her pacifier in the one tentacle that she's got. Underside, there's Kid Robot, Matt Greening, and it says 17 uh, Fox. So even though this is an older line, I think Kid Robot still continues to release this these lines, and it's just a matter of whether the comic book stores stock them or not, so... All the better for collectors out there that maybe didn't get their chance to get these the first time around. Good way to start. There is Pacifier Alien Hybrid, little Maggie Simpson. Let's open up box number two. Interested to see how many doubles we get in this while opening up, because obviously we're going to get more. I could only hope we would get 12 of the actual characters in this set, but the chances are probably slim to none. So the next thing I hope is at least, I don't know, we'll, we'll hold out hope. Let's see. I mean, this is probably not a good way to start because we've already got ourselves another Maggie Simpson, complete with pacifier. If I could at least walk away with a groundskeeper Willie, as well as Kang and Kodos, and Donut and Lisa, or Donut Homer, and Zombie Krusty, I would be very happy. If I could really get the, the gremlin, that would be awesome as well. Let's open up box number three. Well, since this unfortunately is a show I don't watch anymore, the Treehouse of Horrors are still something I watch to this day. Generally though, the new Treehouse of Horrors aren't nearly as good as the original Treehouse. Those original Treehouse of Horrors are spectacular. And what I used to do, which I don't really do much anymore of, is that I would watch a marathon of these. So like Halloween night, at least here in Canada, we had a station called Teletoon, if anybody's heard of that. And Teletoon, as I just dropped the blaster on the floor. Hold on one second. 
Yes, as I was saying, uh, Teletoon here in Canada used to air a marathon of the Treehouse of Horror episodes. Like Halloween night, my parents were handing out candy. I was generally downstairs stealing candy from the the bowl upstairs, bring down some candy, and I'd be checking out the Treehouse of Horror episodes. That's basically what my Halloween was back in the day. So here we have Kang. I think it's Kang or Kodos, either or. Nothing in the way of head posability. It looks very cool, especially with the laser ray gun in hand. There's the back of it. It actually seems to bear a very striking resemblance to Maggie, who has a very similar shape for the tentacles underneath. That's how you know it's the father. That and, of course, she's got tentacles. Opening up the last box of the first row. Get that cut open. Let's see what we have inside. Now, very quickly, I'm sure I'm going to start amassing a mess. So do bear with me. Uh, the next one, we have ourselves Kodos. At least I think it's Kodos. Or it's the one from the very first uh, Treehouse of Horror episode where they get kidnapped. He says, your wife is quite a dish. I think he says, to pronounce my name correctly, I would have to rip out your tongue. He's got the cookbook, How to Cook for 40 Humans. Which initially started, I think, with How to Cook Humans. Oh, there's more space dust on here. <sighs> Hilarity ensues. There's the two right there. Very nice. I can call this a day. See you later, everybody. Oh no, okay, we're gonna we're gonna finish this off. Still would love to get a gremlin. I mean the gremlin is the mystery character, so I, I don't even know how many he is in now according to the, the Kang and Kodos, three and twenty. So there's a likelihood we're probably gonna see a couple more appearances of those two. The next one, however is fly barts just want to make sure there's nothing else in there he's got some tape just to protect his wings i had this problem with the cartman the many faces of cartman where the wings on one of the cartmans was very very thin plastic so i had to be careful that i didn't accidentally break that and sure enough there was one of them i think that had the broken wings but there's fly barts this one has a little bit more in the way of posability than the other two, because the other two were basically just the lower half could rotate, and Kang and Kodos couldn't rotate at all. But here, uh, Bart, you can rotate his head and rotate his arms back and forth. Put him over there. We're now heading through the second row. I have, uh, this is one thing that I thought to myself, okay, hold on a second, hold on. I thought to myself, uh, what are things I would like to do for this year's spooky spots? And the first thing I was thinking of is, well, I haven't looked at the Simpsons Trios of Horror uh, figures from Kid Robot, I think, years now. So it was a set that I wanted to pick up and kind of give it a full review, because I think before I only had done three of them. Here we're going to have a look at an entire case, so kind of fun for me it brings back memories of when I was doing the reviewing many years ago and loving the month of October which I still love October is my favorite month of the entire year Halloween also happens to be my favorite holiday even though you don't technically get it off but it is my favorite holiday of the entire year more so than Christmas some people like Christmas this guy here loves Halloween you love Christmas more than Halloween, let me know down below. If you like Halloween more than Christmas, let me know down below. Which holiday do you prefer? Uh, we've got ourselves another Kang. I truthfully didn't look these up online. I'm sure if you look at the checklist, maybe one is Kang and then the other one is that other alien. I just can't remember his name. But I've got a couple of these now, so there's you could pretend the, these are Kang and Kodos. And then this is the one that was cooking inside the spaceship. ship. 
And while I'm looking at these, I'm also trying to think to myself, which ones were the ones I didn't also look at my previous video. I'm trying to think of which ones I actually had reviewed before. I think when I did get them initially, and I'm sorry for pointing my knife, you shouldn't point a knife at people. Uh, I think I did get a Kang. I think it was Donut Homer, and I think it was Fly Bart. If anybody has seen that video, let me know in the comments section down below what uh, what figures I ended up getting. But we have another one of the aliens. It's funny that they would give you three out of a possible 20, they would give you three aliens. I guess that the demand is high for these characters. I mean, I certainly love these characters. I think above, of all basically like the Halloween Simpsons characters, Kang and Kodos are my favorite by far. I also love the Devil Flanders, which I don't think Flanders ever really made it to a kid robot release. That would be certainly fun as well. You hear a noise, by the way, I'm just onto the floor. Onto the floor it goes. To mix it up a little bit, We've got Cat Marge with her little ball of string. Get that cut open. It would also appear that during the time that Red was away, her knife blade got a little sharper. I don't know how that happened, because I didn't change it. Here we have Cat Marge. Not one of the best episodes of Treehouse of Horror. It's kind of like an island of Dr. Moreau, and everybody was tur being turned into animals, and... Marge was kind of like a cat. Doesn't seem like you could probably take that and feed the the yarn through uh, her hand. A witch Marge would also be great too. Easy Bake Coven, I think, was the episode. She has head articulation, arms, and that's it. It's cat Marge. I'm trying to think of other characters I'd like to see for. Granted, this is an older wave, but re-released, because, I mean, if, even if you look at the year, see, it's 2017 Kid Robot. So they are still kind of making these, despite the fact it's, a, it's, an, it's really an older wave. Uh, Homer Kong would be fun as well. Another Marge here. Dump out her ball of yarn. She's actually two per 20, two out of a 20 case, so that makes sense. I'm trying to think here. Robot Homer would be fun. Or maybe a Homer that has Mr. Burns on his shoulder. Uh, I'm trying to think of another one. Zombie Flanders would be fun. Here we have Witch, Witch Lisa. Oh, oh, I know what else too. Alex. Alex from, well, not Alex, but Bart at playing Alex from, um, what was the movie? Clockwork Orange, thank you, Clockwork Orange. That would be also a fun release if Kid Robot ever released. I'm just kind of looking at, see the underside of her hat only goes a certain way on her hair. Just trying to see if I can line everything up here. Does it go like that? No, I guess it goes the other way. Making it so much more difficult than what I, than what it really should be. I'm thinking. Well, it's not supposed to go down like that. Maybe I'm supposed to have it higher up, like that. Yeah, I guess that. No, let's see here. Trying to make sure I've got it in the right place. It doesn't seem to really line up all that well. Let's try it the other way. You don't succeed, try, try again. That's that's my motto. I, you know what, I think I had it right the first time. I think it kind of just goes like that. It doesn't seem like it really sits on her hair very well. I mean, it's it's got the impressions. I get the impression. But it doesn't sit on her head very well. Good likeness, though, of Lisa, I have to admit. With or without the hat, it does look like Lisa. Just can't seem to figure out how to get the hair to line up with the hat. We'll go with that. Oh, and hey, that rhymed. I'm a poet and don't know it. Uh, Lisa, by the way, is also two out of 20, so we're probably gonna see another appearance of her soon. The ones I'm really ankling for, again, Krusty, don't point your knife, uh, Burns, and Zombie Krusty, and all of which are a 
and a quantity out of 40. Now, Groundskeeper Willie technically is three out of 40, so there may be a good chance that we're gonna get a Groundskeeper Willie Freddy here. Oh, nice. Got ourselves Zombie Crusty the Clown. I think, uh, was it Sideshow Mel jumps him as a zombie, comes back and he says, you know, we want brains. To send your parents brains, send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Really nice looking crusty. Comes with, of course, a brain. That's a very large brain, I might add as well. Doesn't really attach anywhere. And for some reason, it's got like a little smooth off piece. I'm guessing maybe that's a bite. He's big, taking a big bite out of a brain. Tasty brains. Again, head articulation. Still there, despite the fact that he is dead after all. Arm articulation. And that's it. Probably one of my favorites is this one here. Now we are into the uh, well, second last row. They're not necessarily spooky related during the, this Halloween month, but uh, if you guys are new to this channel as well, I've done a whole ton of Kid Robot stuff. So here's a specific wave of Kid Robot cases that you guys want to see reviewed. I would say check my Kid Robot playlist. You'd probably be surprised at a lot of things that I've covered on there. And really, actually, that goes across the board as well. On a regular basis, I usually get you guys commenting, you know, watching the videos, I appreciate comments like that. Sometimes I get comments as well, like, could you check out or could you review said item? And sometimes I might have actually already reviewed it. So I would say, check those playlists. Or even one better, go to the main page. You go on, well, if you click where it says review spot, it'll take you to the home page and then click on videos. And you'll probably see everything on there that some of which you may have watched before, some of which you may not have watched before. So I would definitely say, go and check those out. Now here we have Freddy as Groundskeeper Willie, or Groundskeeper Willie as Freddy. The hat doesn't really, it's not really force, you know, fixed to his head. It just kind of sits loose. This guy's rake. I'm gonna have to go back and watch the episode again. I feel like he still has the stripes on his shirt that maybe have been left off here for this particular figure. Love the look on his face, though. Um, still want to get let's burns, of course. Want to get burns? We're doing actually pretty good, considering. Uh, let's just kind of quickly go through this. Oh, we'll do the box. We'll use we'll use the box for this. We got Cat, Marge, Kang and Kodos, or Kang or whatever. I'll look it up online. The other alien, uh, uh, Bart as the fly, Maggie. So that's one, two, three, four. Just missing these two. And then on the other side, we did get Lisa, Krusty, Kang, Groundskeeper Willie. We're just missing this, these two. So if I'm doing my math correctly, and I struggle at times with math, uh, I'm missing two on that side, two on that side. I'm missing four. And out of four, we have seven possibilities to get, hopefully, fingers crossed, the entire wave. How fantastic would that be? The answer is quite fantastic. Quite fantastic. Yes! And we've got ourselves Homer, not Homer, Mr. Burns as Dracula. One of my favorite Simpsons episodes. Three has of four episodes. Come in, come in. Excellent. Fresh young victims for my ever-growing army of the undead. Ah, uh, sir, you forgot to take your finger off the button. Oh, son of a... He's got his little wine glass of blood. That looks awesome. The hardest thing would be trying to come up with my favorite three figures, because you know I try to do that at the end of these videos. My favorite three figures from this wave. This would be difficult, I have to admit. With that successfully accomplished, we've now still got six boxes to go through. 
I'd like to say by now everything would be gravy, but I'm still ankling to get a couple of ones that I didn't get yet. Ralph maybe not be one of them, but I'm still happy that Ra Ralph I did get. Get that cut open. Comes with his little pumpkin trick-or-treat container. There we go, put it in his hand. There we go. Maybe, uh, maybe Bart dressed up from Clockwork Orange would have been a little cooler than Clown Ralph, but still, pretty happy with that. Colorings are nice and vibrant between the reds and the whites. Very nice. He's a little smaller too as well, so let's do a size comparison. There he is next to Bart as the fly. A little bit shorter, of course. Put him right down there. And just another quick tally. Missing Donut Homer. Missing question mark, which be the gremlin. So we got one, two. I think that's it. I think that's it. It is it. One and two. So we got two left. And another five boxes to go through. Of course, there's still many spooky videos heading to you this month of Spotover. There's still lots more videos coming. I would say, just off the top of my head, this would be, this is probably going to be the meatiest, the meatiest spooky month on this channel. Because you know every October, I won't try to outdo myself, but I do try to bring some really fun videos to you guys, because this is my favorite month of the entire year. So, this month, I feel this month specifically, I don't want to say I've outdone myself, but I really did want to bring a lot of content to this channel for the month of October. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Of course, it's not all going to be, it's not all going to be like Halloween related. We're still going to do regular videos as well. So like, you know, action, regular action figures, regular collectibles. You'll still see them on this channel during October, but of course the meat of it, the juicy meat of it, we're going to see a lot more like spooky related stuff during this month because of course it's, it's Halloween and I love Halloween. Got another zombie crusty looking very sharp, very dapper. His head looks like it's a little, has to be pushed in just a little bit. I love the discoloration on his face though. And of course the slightly chewed, gnawed away brain. <laughs> Three boxes left to go. Gents, ladies. Horses. Horses are watching the video. Let's see what we got inside. Oh, nice. Just want to double check the contents. Hello? Hello? Nothing? Okay, good. We've got ourselves Donut Homer. Oh, Marge, I can't help it. I'm so tasty. It's got to come out sooner or later, boys. All the cops outside waiting for Homer to leave. Oh, Simpsons, you're just not as funny as you used to be. But back in the day, which by the way, it was a Wednesday. Back in the day, you guys were hilarious. Hilarious. And just for good measures, we got ourselves another donut homer. Well, guys, let's just stop for a second. Just kind of look at the lineup in front of us. We've gotten ourselves every single figure. There's 20 in the set, remember four, five, 20 in the set. We managed to get ourselves every single figure right across the gambit, except for this one. This one right here. Channel, channel into this box. Gremlin into this box. You, If there's witches out there watching this video, thank you by the way for watching my video, witches. Uh, channel all your dark magic into this box. Let's see if we can make this into the gremlin. Wouldn't it be funny if this actually was the gremlin? It probably isn't, but just think, eh? Could you just imagine? What if I just laid that box right down there and I said, thanks for watching guys, and the video ended and you would never know the contents of this box. Wouldn't it just drive you bananas? Just think about it. It would drive you absolutely bananas. You would be leaving, going out with your friends. Your friends would be like, hey, Rick, what's going on? You seem not like yourself. I just, I'm just thinking about that last box. Mark's driving to work. 
tuning on the rate turning on the radio trying to distract himself from his thoughts what was in that last box I won't do that for you I'll open up the last box it, it does feel heavy though so I don't know I don't know the chances are probably slim but let's open it up now that I've filled myself with doubt let's open it up let's see what we got for the last figure the last figure, by the way, for the Kid Robot Tree House of Horror. I already know what it is. It's not. It's obviously not the Gremlin. The last one we got is another Kang. Or Kodos. Or that alien to pronounce my name. I would have to rip out your tongue. And we'll get that into his hand. There we go. Doesn't sit a little loose, but can still get it in there. Here we go. And we got ourselves another Kang. So, let's once again have a look at all the figures that we got inside the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror from the folks over at Kid Robot. Starting over here, we got ourselves Freddy Krueger, Groundskeeper Willie, which kind of just like looking. He may make probably my top four or top five, but he's probably not my top three. Top three, I would give to Dracula, Mr. Burns. And then we've got Ralph. We've got Kang, which I would say is probably my second favorite. Which, I mean, that's, that's saying a lot. But I think my number one favorite is probably Zombie Krusty. Just love it. Zombie Krusty, Kang, Mr. Burns. Top three. We also got inside a donut Mr. Mr. Simpson. That would be Homer, by the way. Donut Homer Simpson. Uh, Bart Simpson as the fly. And we also got Cat Marge. Alien Maggie. And also the other alien. Oh, and also Witch Lisa. And also the alien cooking up humans. My light bulb here is going to be dying soon. So I think we'll just kind of wrap up this video. Today we were having a look once again at the Kid Robot Simpsons Treehouse of Horror vinyl figures. My light bulb is dying. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time. <laughs>